Greetings, gentle beings. Nightingale here, and welcome back to Ghost Song. Been a while since I touched this one, but because you need to actually have some time to play it, and I've been rather busy, so got a little bit of spare time here. I figured this was a good time, any, to get some of it done. Now, if I can remember what I was doing. Hmm. That one to cool down. Okay. Jump. Dash. There we go. Okay. And I had a double jump. Alright. Now, when I left off, I got in the first ship part. And I was just debating on where I was going to go next. Actually, you know what? Something I've been thinking about was there was... Oops, where's that? This one. Sprinkler. I dismissed that originally, but I'm curious. Oh, right. Got me that. Here we are. Curious about it. Because I was just thinking. It's one of those things I looked at and I dismissed it right away. And from what I know about gaming is that if my mind immediately dismisses something, it might secretly be the secret OP and I just, for some reason, have a metal block and not let me use it. So my thought... Alright, I got that. Like, it doesn't seem that impressive, right? Whatever. Okay, so four at once. What happens if all four at once hit something? That feels like maybe that does a lot better. Yeah, okay. Now, there's only one way to really test that. First of all, where am I going? I feel like this one just teases you. The ship part, because it looks like it's right where you should be able to get to. I wonder if I can now. I have that double jump. Did that let me access? There's a way to go up there. Let me go take a peek. Whee! <laughs> but yeah, I'm curious. guys everywhere. <laughs> screen. That's all I hear. Screen. Screen. Oh, more screen. 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 Oh, they give more of this stuff too. Okay. So the part of the farming is you can farm them, basically. Alright. I mean, I kind of already knew what they gave stuff, but... Oh, shoot. I just... I just messed up there. I've gone across. Oh, no, I can get up this way. Okay. Oh, I can go this way now. Okay. And maybe. Close. What am I looking at? Hello. Where are you? Hi. Hello? Hello. Oh. You responded. Hi. Oh, this is 
Okay, so I guess I can't get that way through here. Darn. forget but yeah well, I suppose I can't shut down one of the here huh well, that didn't work. spamming stuff for my map. Yeah, so still can't get all the way up there. I don't quite know how. But that's okay. I'll just go around, I guess. again. You guys. <laughs> I don't see you. That one. Did. I saw that. <laughs> mm, so there is an op. But I can't get there. Huh? I try to jump all the way over. So maybe I can go up and around. There is a safe over here, so it'll help me with that. <laughs> Made it. I haven't been here. Hello.
All the energy. Give it. Need my level ups. Need to get all the level ups. <laughs> I don't even know how much this is for my next one. Does it tell me? New. Luck. What does luck do? Faster. Oh, you subs. Oh. It doesn't really tell me. <laughs> now. Healing. Okay, I'm just here, just. Hmm. Alright, so it was another way over here. Can I go that way? Question. Aha! Hey, buddy. Not looking so good. Hello? Hoping it would say something. I've already been here. It's been a while since I played. It's like, did I already talk to that guy or something? I feel like. I feel like she should say something. Okay. Now, I want to go down. all the fiery sound is, but so it's up here. I can always backtrack things too. I don't think I've been here. Ooh. Glowy. Bugs. Glowy bugs. I feel like I've been upgrading correctly, just because it gives a lot more stats, and because the extra energy just allows me to keep getting the extra power weapons, so I do a lot more damage that way. Plus, it makes most numbers go up. And I like it when the numbers go up. Hello. Yes, get farther away. Good. Survive the hit. Bad. Okay. Yep, I figured that was it. The secret areas. Forget to look for those. Double jump to get up here, okay. I see, I see. What do they do? That's kind of a question. Not too bad. Flying is kind of annoying, but... Ah! Don't die. Sure, I thought dead. Uh-oh. Don't panic. We're panicking. Okay. Alright, I panicked a bit. But... <laughs> Heal. Plants. Buzzing is getting louder. Hmm. 
Hmm, not sure if I can make that. Nope. <laughs> can I make it from back here? I feel like I can almost make it. Just gotta do it just right. For myself, just so I don't immediately die. Oh, made it. Haha. -ha. Don't know if I wanted to. Like it's just getting louder. I don't know how I feel about that. Mm -hmm. I'm getting close to it, but I kind of would like to have a save point. For it. Oh, okay, what's my distance? Like about that far. Straight for a boss room. I'm not really up to help. Hopefully I can run away. Need me. Okay, looks like there's ways to go around here now. Ooh. Ooh. Nice try. Nice try. Yep, it's a call. <laughs> okay, I killed those guys pretty quick. That's nice. Do I want the secret room? That's the question, isn't it? I want the secret room. The secret room will lead to the boss immediately. That seems important. Do I risk it? Or do I try to look for a save point somewhere? And hope that I don't run across it on accident. <laughs> Almost there's a save point right there. I feel like that's close enough that they just won't. <laughs> well, we'll see. Yep, that leads to the ship part. Not bad if I can go up, actually. But I feel like I'm an inch away from a boss fight or something. Oh, it's water. down, get it, and then you're forced to fight your way back through, possibly. Alright, I can look around a bit. Bone risk going down is the question. I think I can afford to. Doesn't look like there's a way into this from there. Oh, maybe. There might be something there. Hard to tell. I don't see what I need at the save point. Some sort of something to heal me. Oh, I can't get back up. That's annoying. Oh, so this was the way back down. Oh, so I should have gone up through there. Ah. Uh. Oh, I see. You go this way, it'll be. Oh, service call. That's what I was hearing. Hi. There's a plant here. Hello? Nope. 
Back out here. No, not where I want to be. So we go this way, I think. It not look like there was any secrets on that side. I mean, there could have been, I suppose. There could have been something up there that I needed to shoot at. Knock open, but... I can always check that on the way back. Actually, maybe I should go down and get that save and heal first, since I'm right here. Oh, that's right. If I do that, then I'm stuck. I can't get back up there. Did I say anything this time? Still hearing that weird rain sound. Look at triple jump. Get up there. Oh, that's okay. Bugs back. They're not. Like now that I know the pattern, or now that I know I can just make it through that, it doesn't feel that bad to have this there. Ah, uh, this one. Right. There we go. Nope. I <laughs> missed it. Darn it. Close. There. <laughs> Going up. I want to check what's up the one area. Right up here. The way up instead of forward. I don't know where it goes. <laughs> Want a running start? Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. What's up here? Search everywhere. What am I? Check my power. Real quick. Is there anything? Flower step. This one, I don't know. It's one of those ones I can't tell if it's actually helping. Or if I just can't. Or if I got. Uh, and just getting a very minimal amount, it's really not worth it. But I feel like just constantly getting healed little tiny bits should just add up. A ton. That looks like a spike there. Okay. Hi. Wanted to make sure. I mean, the spots that are, you can break through are pretty obvious looking because the graphics are slightly different, but. Oh, hey! <laughs> Speaking. 
speaking of. <laughs> he says, as he accidentally. Okay. So that's the way to the ship part. But before I do that, what's wrong with me? Get this. Whatever's over here. I want to see. curious. <laughs> Why are they curious? I want to know. Wait. <laughs> Alright, let's see it. Curious eggs. What are you? Now let's see how the healing actually is. See, 
but it's hurting me too much. <laughs> ability, but... Or, well, yeah, literally. <laughs> oh, phew. No, I'm just curious. I thought I said furious for a second. I was like, wait. <laughs> Scatterburst. And that's essentially shotgun blast. Plasma burner. Set certain enemies on fire. That sounds nice. Need one more energy for that. Also, I don't remember if it's useful. Might be too slow firing. I remember. Check it out. There was a quest for one person to do the quest. Like a stroll. Showing the entrance that way. Alright, so what do I gotta do here? That was like it was gonna break. It shows the ship part. Am I gonna miss it? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well then. that way, right? Yeah. There was a pile of service skulls down here. Oh, there's an actual service skull down here, too. I remember that. You.
I wonder. There's rockets, obviously. Nail with the sprinkler. gets at at least. <laughs> I don't know that it's any more effective than anything else, but still nice. Energy back. the overtime amounts that it is. Yep, it's just worth it. It does cost quite a bit, but survivability takes precedence. Plants over here. Hi. Still missing. You. Come see me again, okay? Alright. Thanks for the concern. Yep. If you got stuff to barter, I'll be here. If you got stuff to barter, I forget. I'll be Can I barter here. with you? this. Just some stuff I scrounged up. Nothing fancy. Alright. So went ahead and set up a tent for you. Figured we'd have it ready this time. Over by the others, not too far. I'll show you. It's fine here, thanks. Good night, Roper. Oh. Sleeping on the ground again. Yep. I do that. That's how I roll. Yes, it must be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Super comfy. Another achievement. 
I'm a little worried I missed something though, because there was a mission or something. Do I still have it filled? Look, she said she could give me a better upgrade. I'm kinda worried that I missed that part. Was it you? Are you awake? I am awake. May I examine you? Hi. Please buy me dinner first. <laughs> Nothing weighs him. I'm gonna take him up with you. I guess so. Close your eyes. There. That's all. What'd you do? Took a sample of dust from your suit. While the static field seems to have no effect at lower altitudes, it still leaves a subtle residue on our clothing and on our skin. I'd like to collect regular samples from the crew and from Gamma. I thought it best to include you now as well. Your more, more information is always useful, or at least feels useful, even when it's not. I'd actually hoped not knowing the material of your suit for some unique interaction. Something new. Did you find anything like that? At a glance, nothing unusual. Okay. I'm not making the progress I'd hoped. I suppose I'm flailing. I assume by the time we repaired Gambler, he had come up with some clever way to navigate the field, but I don't know any more now than I did the day of the crash. I don't even know how to begin to know. I studied the problem, turned the possibilities in my head. Sometimes I feel nearer a good thought. I sense I'm approaching something, some trick in the pattern, but then it's gone. It's beyond me. The math is beyond me. I'll have to be smart. There's no choice. Okay. I'll help you. I know you'd like to, but I don't see how. This isn't a problem you can carry on your back. Keep working on Gambler. I'll keep working on the field. Keep working on Gambler. Okay. I'll keep working on the field. Gambler. Gambler. suggest we return to pathbreaking after this. A slow stretch seems best. I was born a pathbreaker. Don't quit, do I? This was years ago. Not like these days. Smooth ships dragging back and forth to pattern resorts. I was with the government then, helping push her frontiers into the wildest echo spaces. We had such teeth. Nothing I'm proud of, of course. And you? Did you ever pathbreak, sister? Did I ask you that? I'm not a ship. Oh, yeah, so you say. We've been picking up salvage lately, and cargo runs when Bill finds a contract, but no more pathbreak. We gave up pathbreak. It's tedious, I realize, running the same lanes over and over, months on, scraping the edges, smoothing the way for some fat colony spreader or glazed-up luxury cruiser. Not the sort of work a crew usually enjoys. But really, we only quit because of the children. They were getting older. Naturally, they wanted to meet new people, learn new songs, try new hats. Pasha's even been considering school. She'll do well, I'm sure, at school. When they were little, though, and their mother was still with us, path-breaking seemed ideal. We stretched out in the long stretches, talked in circles, mended our socks. We had time to organize the future. Such time. We need that again, I think. Another good lull. I think that doesn't sound so bad. Right. When we get back up, we'll take it slow. Okay. Find the old lady. Ride back and forth a while. Plan in the future. <laughs> Don't say you're actually leaving. Come along. down, huh? And the giants? The air is heavy and cool. Fair enough. And the giants? Nope. The air is heavy and cool. Just gonna 
keep saying that. Yep, good time. See you, gambler. That's not working on this anymore. Let's not break up. Clunk, 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 clunk. Hello. Hello. No. <laughs> That's what I said. Hello. Am I bothering you? No. Are you okay? I've been thinking of the things I'll miss about this body. Like what? I'm a belly sleeper. <laughs> when I woke this morning, it struck me. It felt suddenly essential to my sense of self. How could I ever not be a belly sleeper? That, that seems a bit much, but okay. My whole life, the only way I can fall asleep with any consistency is to lie flat on my belly. My legs straight, my arms at my sides. Silly, I guess, but it's comfortable. It's the way I am. It's part of me. I'll miss that aspect of myself. You still sleep on your belly. I could, yes, but I might not want to. Once my new body, it might feel more natural to sleep on my back instead. All that space above, and empty air and room to breathe. I might become a back sleeper. Sleeping on my back might become part of who I am. And even if I do continue to sleep on my belly, it won't be this belly. It'll be a strange new belly. Yes. <laughs> Think you're thinking about this a little too hard. When I turn my left foot a certain direction at a particular angle, usually when I'm kneeling to pick something up, I feel a twinge in the back of my heel. It's like a tickle. It's almost nothing. I don't remember when it started. Probably something misaligned. Some minor disrepair. It never mattered enough to take my foot apart and fix it. But it matters now. I'm accustomed to that twinge. I'll miss that twinge. I think you might have been in the bottom of the ship here a little too long. <laughs> of course, I can understand. A bit of body horror going on with your body falling apart and all that. Also, my left arm is half a centimeter longer than the right. That's not much. No, but it feels important. There's detail no one sees. Breaks in the symmetry. Things that are just mine. I'll miss those things. <sighs> I'll miss all of my strangeness. Oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm sure that's not going anywhere. But it's exciting, too. An entirely new body. <laughs> I'll build something decent. I'm sure of that now. And there'll still be quirks. A body's too complex to ever be boring. Yeah. I'll get to find all these strange new things in a strange new body. <laughs> That's exciting. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better about it. Isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. I think so. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I'll be left-handed. Maybe okay. I'll be left-handed. Anything here? Can I affect anything? Anything? Nope. Alright. Nothing there. Fine day, Drifter. Yep. Need something. I'm just checking in. <laughs> Are you okay, Bill? Fairly okay. What are you doing, Bill? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm writing a poem in my head. Do that, Bill. <laughs> You're a poet. Sure ain't. Thought so. You did. I noticed the way you looked at things around you. Weeds and scrap metal and tree stumps and other things. You look at things the way a poet looks at things. You have curious eyes. So I assumed you were a poet. Hmm. I mean, okay. See you around, buddy. You too, buddy. Goodbye, Bill. See you around, buddy. Anything new? Goodbye, a couple Bill. Things. Ooh, a lot of things. I don't have money for half these, do I? Healing core. Oh, it's an actual healing core amplifier. Increase the healing power of them. Increase the range. It uses basic blaster shots. Huh, interesting. I can grab that one. What do I need? 4,500? Okay. 
keep working on Gander. I'll keep working on the field. Do that. Keep working on Gander. Come here. Oh, you got it. I'll keep Hurry. working on the field. Prepare yourself for something. Oh. Are you prepared? Yes. <laughs> here we go. Sweet. So I did get it. What'd you do? It's pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna show or anything. It's all internal. But I like my work to look a certain way. What does it do? It's for your gun arm thingy. It eliminates overheating, or at least reduces it. I used one of Raven's old floater cores to grow out the crystals. Then I had to arrange them in the casing so they'd slot into your suit the right way. That was the tricky part. Matilda helped with the growth assumptions, the equations for the rate of burn and stuff, but I did the rest myself. You'll, uh, let me know if it works? Yes. Thank you. Might not work at all. <laughs> I enjoy building things, working with metals and wires and circuits, but I'm no good at it. The majority of my creations don't work or don't work correctly or work correctly, then fall apart immediately. It's always been like that. It seems like with Raven and Roper and Gambler to teach me all these literal geniuses around, it seems like it's something I should be able to learn. That's why I keep at it, I guess. And I really do enjoy it. The feeling of piecing things together. Maybe this time I made something useful? Hmm. Make sure you try it out in a real actual combat situation. Make sure you try it out in a real actual combat situation. Right. Just tell me. I mean, it's good that I got it. Oh, wait, you gotta get it. It's an actual suit mod, isn't it? There we are. Would help with the overheating. Probably will do. It will probably do the opposite. I still wanna see. Hyper armor. Upgrades, I need a lot of things. Twenty four. Yeah, I like having the health information. Oh, my bad. Turn this off for now, because that's supposed to reduce overheating, so that kind of makes up for it. So I got that. It's also the one for making the gun. Made me think. Module. Oh, that's just the. And these are just solid things. I don't want to miss this. Grab that. Mm -hmm. But now I need. Choice. What, 4,500 before I can get back. Ah, that's so many upgrades I could be getting instead. <laughs> it's like. Decision, decision. I want it though before I lose it. And of course, there was a save spot there. So what do I want to do? I still need to get all the way over to there. I think that's where the sinker was. So I should probably just go for that. Let's head down there. And head up and see if I can fight the singer. Not dying horribly. And I don't know. Teleport to that one. Actually, I could just go there and teleport, huh? Oh wait, before that, talk to everybody. There's still more people, right? So, hey, tell me something. What do you think about ghosts? I saw a ghost yesterday, maybe. I was out exploring. I know, not safe, never do it again. And on the way back, I noticed these puddles. The rain puddles past the west turret. And I was thinking how weird these particular puddles are. I've been through there 50 times. My shoes get muddy 50 times in those puddles. They never dry up, even if they never rain. It's always the same exact puddles. Three big puddles. You've seen them. One shape sort of like a heart. I've seen puddles. <laughs> but these puddles are weird. I thought maybe it was to do with the water table. There's water seeping up, and that's why they never dry out, but something felt off. I decided to experiment. You stomp them, it's normal, like any other puddle. But then you really have to pay attention. You watch those. You watch close afterward, the water stills itself. It stills itself. It settles too quickly, you know? There's a will to it. Just the slightest bit too fast after you stomp or toss a pebble. The ripples die out, the water goes calm, like it wants to be calm. It tries to play it off like it's normal, but it's not at all. I must be bored if I'm starting staring at puddles, right? But that's what I did. I scooted back enough that they'd ignore me. Got a book out, pretended I was reading. I watched those puddles for two hours. That's when I saw a ghost. 
I know it wasn't a ghost ghost, like not a dead person ghost, but it was still neat. He peeked up from the water a few inches, looked around, then slipped back under. Just a funny little dude. What'll go? Some energy, some intelligence, maybe an animal? Who knows? The says people don't have souls, only ships have souls. There's no such thing as a human ghost. I think she's teasing, but I don't know. I might be a ghost. Nah, you don't sound like a ghost. I might be anything. Then maybe you're a cat. <laughs> I could be a cat. You, you'd be a calico. A stringy old calico with a notch in your ear. That was my cat when I was little. Miss Prescott, Christmas. She was mean, but I liked her. If you were just a ghost inside a suit, you wouldn't have a mouth. Did you consider that? Pardon? You wouldn't be able to form words. So you must have a mouth, at least, because you talk well. When I speak, I seem to have a mouth. I assume that I have a face as well. I feel my lips and my teeth and my tongue. It's all very natural. There you go. Not a ghost. When I'm quiet, I feel nothing. Can you wiggle your nose? No. Have you tried? Nothing happens. Well, that doesn't prove much. I can't wiggle my nose either. <laughs> I don't mind if you're a ghost. I don't mind if you're a ghost. So there's puddles to the west, is what you're telling me. Now I'm curious. Save real quick. I got the upgrade, which is nice. This thing actually. doesn't appear to be working, if I'm being honest, but you know what? I'll use it in a battle and see what happens. Should we manage to fight down here, yes? Lake Stroll. Alright, let's see. Sure. Still over here. So I used it in battle. I don't see any puddles. So I am curious. There are these puddles, maybe. They might have there somewhere. I don't know. I wanted to see the puddle ghost. Where's it at? The puddle ghost. This gives me. I actually forgot I had those. I bet you I could have gotten some of those things. You know what? I'm gonna go spam them. See how much it gives me. I get exactly how much it gives. Well, first of all. you try it out in a real actual combat situation? I mean, I did. Oh, she's good. 250. Here we go. 
some of it out of the way. Need anything? Technically, that's the more expensive one. I feel like just having a full entire core is better. Works. Like, I could have gotten a few level ups with that, and that might have been worth more, just having slightly more health. I get the one that recharges next, though, so anyway. Shoot. But anyways, what did I say? Is it to the west or the I'm curious about the tunnel. She said to use it in a real combat situation. I did, but it's like... It seems like it made it worse, <laughs> instead of better. Guys, but I need the energy. Not much, but every little bit helps, right? I don't see any puddles. I think it lied to me about the puddles. Interesting that you can't shoot directly straight down. Puddles over here. Feels like it's not doing anything. Might even be making it worse. Can't tell. Distant star would be nice though. Nine hundred. Now that becomes the question: Do I save up or do I? Okay, well enough. 
Dashing when you jump. Nice. You jump farther to in that way. spot though do I upgrade or when I save or do I just keep going I just keep going because that was the singer over there I'm pretty sure if I can get to that go down this time I mean, I'm just dead to speaking here. Hmm. Promise I don't want to sit here for like two minutes. Cause she said, yeah, she had to sit for a couple of minutes. It's like, I feel like that was enough. <laughs> there might be some interesting little Easter egg or something that if you wait a couple of minutes, you get something cool, but. see any reason to sit here forever. So if I can get one more, maybe that would be worth it. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I 
It's like, yeah, I feel like... That's... with it. I want to see what happens if I take it off. Yeah. Let it cool off. Got it. Yeah, it seems like it does the opposite. Like it's not terribly, but it's much slower though. Level up. Oh, 900 is on for my next level. Okay, so it might actually be worth it then. I mean, I could get the level. I resolve though. It doesn't matter how much it goes up to. Why not? Boom. So if I go with that, that should have the deck be the Did. And increase my power shots. I don't technically need this one, but. Class randomly. Flash energy. That one also reduces heat buildup. What is now I'm missing out on? Weapons. Yeah. Actually, yeah, check how much range I got. It's a scary thing now. I mean, it is better. I feel like that'll keep me alive, so. Makes survivability wins over everything else in this game. Ah, so I gotta go all the way I wanna get to that singer area. Well, that's the other thing I should check. Definitely wasn't helping the cooldown, but I should check to see if it's doing anything for my damage. Alive, like the other person was. So, here's something stomping around. What was that? Out here? Yeah, it is out here. Hey. Oh, hey. What's up? <laughs> that girl from the camp. Shouldn't be out here. It is. It's not safe. Sure, I guess. I'm careful though. It is Pasha. I was following these little, I don't know what they're called. They look like baby chickens, but they roll up in the balls, fumble along the dirt. 
I was seeing where they end up. If there's a nest, because a nest means egg. Okay. We could have omelets for breakfast tomorrow. Maybe I'd like omelets better than mushrooms. I only saw one monster on my hmm. way out. It was asleep, so I sneaked by no problem. It was sort of cute, actually. I almost went back to give it a pet. Hmm. Don't do that. It's a very human thing I to know, do. I know, not safe. Do not pet dangerous wildlife. It is strange out here. Yeah. You just noticed? Go back to camp, please. I will, I promise. I'm just resting up first. It's fine. I'll make it home, don't worry. I'm careful. It's fine. I'll make it home, don't worry. I'm careful. Well, I feel like you're gonna die. You go all the way up there. Yep, there's nothing here. I hear noise, something's moving around. What is stomping? Thought it was her, but apparently not. Oh, to you again. Hi. Uh Hello? Hi, how are you? Turning me off. <laughs> Good that. Rude. Rude. Huh. <laughs> you still hear things talking about. What is that? Sounds like something walking. something more for doing that, but it's okay. Hmm. You are still creepy. <laughs> There's a 
the safe room. That's nice. And here we have the singer. Ah, the creepy hand forest. Be any different, but I feel better. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Melee. Melee does a lot, but it's hard to land on things. I feel like if I go heal, then she heals too. Huh? And I mean, not the right spot to face. I don't see any reason not to heal up. Just 
reload. Which is weird, but not that. charge my energy back and do that. That's nice. here. Yep, there it is. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Pay attention.
back. A little cheesy, but whatever. Is just too freaking beefy <laughs> for me. Oh shoot. Mm, I run out of energy. Is anything worth putting on is dead. Probably get all chill blast. the other one, so it might not be a use or it doesn't have to not range the uh fire or ah I keep on saying RPM oh, yeah, the speed of how quickly you can shoot is not much so it does more for a shot but you may not get many shots off before you get blown up oh Check the fire as well. Try out all the different things on them. See what works. <laughs> ah, that one's not. Hold up. Come here, let's take that off for a sec. I just want to see. Let's see what it does. I mean, it catches them on fire, yeah. like that, but charge back up.
Okay. She slows me down, which screws up a lot of stuff. And because I did that, he really heals, I think. Because it messes up my ability to jump when she does her scream. And I need to be able to jump over him. <laughs> I'm worried if I go farther that I'm gonna run straight into another enemy. Reset it. Man, just let me, it just is against me killing him. <laughs> I just need a little four more. <laughs> yeah. Map. I mean, I've been all over this thing already. Oh. <laughs> Hello.
I'm stuck all the way down there. But I got stuck. You uh, didn't let me check the things. There was a lot of energy in that, too. Now, what I do? Do I go all the way? Let me stand up. There we go. Uh, do I go all the way down there? Try and grab it? Or do I assume it's a lost cause? It feels like I go grab it, but... One or the other, I'll search through and try and get to this one. I guess would be the other way to go. Maybe one of the, I don't know. They're kind of difficult. I don't know. It's kind of a toss up on which way is the right way to go. Things. I want my energy back. That's really what it comes down to. Or did I just. Drop something. When did that happen? <laughs> like, is that just a random chance? What even was that? Regenerate energy. Okay. Not bad. But yeah, like, okay. The guy I just killed however many times just randomly decided, yeah, now's the time. Like, I actually almost killed those two. I wasn't expecting that. Just going to point blank. Hi. She gonna drop on my head? I don't understand why those still get attracted to me at all the time. Alright, well I got it. That's my 
nice little windfall every day here. It's not huge, but it's, you know, extra 150 or something like that, 140. And we're back here, and there's right at through us as well as you can go down. like minor looking robot things. If I jump down there, I feel like I'm gonna get stuck. Yep. Definitely feels like I'm getting myself stuck. Do you like? 
like that, right? It's just useful, like utility. Hey, I see you up there. This place is very squishy sounding. Thanks, guys. I can't get back to because I know there's something up here. Was that annoying? Like, I know there's a thing up here. I wonder if you could, like,
bullet sponge forever until you just feel like uh, ankle spikes. <laughs> Jumping from walls to reach. Oh, really? Fall while airborne, press the jump button. Where are they at? Oh, I just have them now. Jumping now. Hold up. First thing. That doesn't work there. Why? Oh, you can't double jump. No. Is there any squishy balls?
It's an odd language, for sure. Oh, yes. Stink. I mean, the bugs are near. Yeah. The bugs. Russell. This is their town. They were meant to kill me, you know. Struck me. This will tear us apart and our rebellion. It's dead. My creatures in their way. Are extraterrestrial in origin, sent from deep space. Although some contemporaneous accounts claim the invasion began during the annual Sistel parades, irresistible irony, I suppose, it was actually the following day, the end of the world. I recall I was outside the Born Lab, somewhere in the mountains, still settling into my new form. All evening, I've been speaking with the ghost, septic engineer who died in a work accident the week before. He was unusually lucid, and I was about to unveil the mysteries of the universe when the sky began to flash. The invasion continued through the night, bugs arriving in space pod in larval form, crashing deep into the ground. After several hours' gestation, they emerged ravenous and killing and infesting all in their path, between bodies and the monsters. Rosslock destroyed the world, eventually. Those that were able left the planet, but the ports were soon overrun, cities as well. Survivors struggled on, retreating even further into the mountain. In the end, they all died. Well, it's that cheery. These days, the Roslock aren't such a problem. Not to be careful. Some years after the end of the world, finally beginning to understand our limits, our lack of limits, my brother and I decided to fight the Roslock, at least push them back somewhat, I'll shove in the right direction. Their presence was an annoyance, of course, and a reminder of our failure. But more importantly, it was disrupting our reason. And if not for the research, what else is there? So Construct and I swept through the cities in no kind mood, thinning the Roslock numbers and driving them underground. After months of sustained effort, feeling a little bored, I admit we declared victory. The dead still roamed, the world was still ruined, but there was room to work. We spent these last centuries at work. In that time, the remaining Roslock have kept mostly to their tunnels. I'm unsure as to why. Perhaps instinctual self-preservation. There remains, perhaps, some distant sentient force at work, guiding their movements. There remains, perhaps, some distant sentient force at work, guiding their movements. You to get a dive to one, apparently. Alright, so let me get to the healing. Sort of restore myself a little. Energy. Oh, 
jump into an enemy and kill yourself. Alright. going head for the deep tunnels but they don't seem interested i can't understand how can anyone not be interested if we can just get a group together uh figured it out we can make it deeper the right group four or five with the right gear the right weapons we'll find out what's happening down there we'll hit bottom we'll, we'll find what i'm doing um all these years all alone it's not working i know that now not enough you think they'd listen to you I told them about all the mysteries involved, the message of the raw slot, the secret language of action. I explained that um, the joy of discovery is a is a reward in itself, but but it wasn't enough upside, I suppose. Or I didn't say it right. You have to tell them, okay? Tell them that they have to come. Tell them a few lives are worth what we can learn. I don't think that's a good idea. You don't? Hmm. Could be. Um, could be you're right. Can't quit though. There's a there's something I told you, didn't I? The sticky uh the uh permeation of the new um of the smell. The way the smell gets in your brain. It requires that I understand. That's my job now. You you can help, right? Maybe. Good, good, good. Look, two of us, that's all we need. We can meet up down there. Just two. We're enough. Just just um now um, I should head back now, right? Right? I should um the air's too thin up there. It's confusing. <laughs> Find me in the tunnels. Alright. Random potential mission there. How's it going, Blue? I talk to you, Dad. Can I ask something? Sure. Are you the captain? Mm -hmm. You're the captain, aren't you? Nope. No. We don't have a captain. That's not how we organize it. We just take care of each other. We stay together because we share ideals, because we enjoy each other's company, because we need help. We respect expertise, we listen to experience, but we decide by consensus. Consens consensus. <laughs> no my <I> words. <laughs> So no captains, no bosses, no gods, no king, only man. <laughs> that seems good. It works for us. Actually, it, uh, it bothers me that you assumed I'm a captain. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. It's just we say no hierarchies, but they develop anyway, right? They creep in, we get tired, we fall into war. There's patterns that come of living together, of working together, and some of that is needed, of course. But we have to be careful. It can turn pernicious. It can stifle. Certain personalities overwhelm. Certain ideas become given. Suddenly, we're living underneath things we never actually decided on. What I mean is, if you call me captain, that makes me afraid we're failing. A crash, maybe? We can't let tragedy push us into roles that shouldn't even exist. Yes. Makes sense. Why would you need leadership in a time of great crisis? That's silly. No captains. Not ever. I'm sure that's got nothing to do. Sorry about <laughs> the rambling. I, uh, I'll get in my head sometimes. Yeah. You. 
Boom. Give me the thing. Boom. Thanks. There we go. Keep working on Gal. Make I'll sure you try it out in a too. real actual combat situation. I did. It works well. She's not back yet. That kind of worries me a little bit. But we'll see. Come full circle. Not bad though. Got a new ship part, got the wall jump, which is ridiculously useful. Got this new melee weapon, which is actually really nice, so. I'm happy with where I've made it here. The only thing I could use is some more level ups, because I can't don't have enough energy to get all the different abilities I need. But that'll be enough for this part. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, feel free to leave a comment for the algorithm god. And I'll see you next time.